My name is Tai Xingda. People call me Andre here. I came from um, Taiwan. I'm a rising senior. I am Latiera Randu. Uh, I go by Lati here. Uh, I am a senior here. I graduate in December and I am from Chicago, Illinois. I am Brayden Mills. I live here in the lovely Berea, Kentucky, and I'm a rising sophomore. My name is Dion Banks, and I am a senior. I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. Um, here as a transfer from Sinclair Community College in Dayton, Ohio. My name is Tiffany Clinton. I'm from Oliver Springs, Tennessee, and I'm a senior this year. Finances are tight. Uh, my mother and father, uh, they are separated, they aren't together. So um, income from back home is definitely tight. So. Well, I'm not your traditional um, incoming student. Um, I started a little later in life, so I'm an independent student um, financially. Because so. I just had a brother who graduated from UK, so now that, now that I'm the only one going to college now, I, my um, expected family contribution is higher than all, probably most of the student body on campus. Finances are always tight back home. Um, we've, we've had a lot of unforeseen circumstances that have kind of put some people out of jobs and a lot of people who were just ill. But we've always been able to make the money work. The money we had, we did stretch every dollar um, as far as we could. So it's a lot of responsibility on me to do what I need to do and to handle myself financially and responsibly because it's kind of a fall on me anyway. Uh, well, I actually didn't know anything about Berea until my senior year of high school. Uh, I looked it up and I said, this has to be a scam. Nothing in life is free. I was trying to find a college in the U.S. to study when I was studying the country, but the tuition fee in a U.S. university is really intimidating. So I really couldn't afford any other place. I've been working full time since high school. And the uh, fact that they did not charge tuition to students and the fact that you only paid what you could to come to Berea was really intriguing to me. So that's really what brought me here. I was pretty much prepared if I didn't get a scholarship at a different school or something for sports to take out loans and financial aid. So it was really good for me to come to Berea because, you know, it's tuition free. They really cut out all of those expenses and they take care of you as long as you uphold your academic responsibility. So. I think I always knew it was my number one choice, mainly, mainly because I've been exposed to the college my whole life. The obvious free tuition scholarship. <laughs> I know I'm better off than most of the other college students in the state, so uh, I knew Berea was a great choice financially. Berea is one of those places where you got everything provided for you and not a lot of the students have things like a credit card bill or an expensive phone bill um, and you really don't need all of those things to begin with. Um, <clears throat> coming to a realization of what I really need and um, what I want, you know, and how those things are balanced out in the end, you know, once I get to where I'm trying to go career-wise. It's more about getting to where I'm trying to go in a career, not basically trying to live a life that I feel that I should live today, but work towards that today so I can live there tomorrow. Well, in high school, my mom and dad definitely did everything for me, and I, I believe it's just because I was there, so I, I could harass them in their face about money, but now that I'm here, I, I call them, but when I call them, it's not for money. What's changed is I think I've matured, and I've learned how to save money as well as budget. Financial security means I, I will have more than I expect to have in my own account. I think it's just knowing that you have money for what you need. Just knowing that um, no matter what, you are going to be okay. I think of my livelihood, you know, what it takes for me to survive and to be able to 
take care of myself, which is important to my success here at Berea and beyond. Having, having a rainy day fun, definitely, because it's been my experience that you have more rainy days and sunny days when you don't have a fun left there. Um, and just ha knowing how to use the money in a way that you have everything you need, but you also have, allow yourself a little bit of money to buy things you want. It's all about a balance, I think. I dare your desire for shopping. <laughs> I know it's very um, luring to go on eBay or a lot of shopping websites and they will have like daily deals and everything. It's very appealing to just go on there and look at the price and you will tell yourself that, you know, it's totally on sale. I can just buy them and I will have my pay next month or next week. Basically what you need comes first than what you want. Definitely save up for the semester so that you can pay off those term bills for that uh, academic year and not have to worry about taking out a loan or getting the 40% taken out of your check because it'll all be paid for in the beginning. Well, definitely map out. Um, I divide my paycheck up into the four, four weeks or three weeks until the next paycheck and see, okay, this is what I gotta pay in bills after that. This is about how much I have left and divide it to a weekly basis. How much are you really going to need a week in order to function? I try to save everything I have. I mean, I have things that may come up. I may get sick. You know, I might need medicine. You know, um, might need a new pair of shoes. You know, things happen. In the back of your mind, you're saying, I really don't need this. Then you really don't need it, so don't get it. It's all about saving right now. I have my own savings account for my personal money. Well, I have, I have a bank account and I took, I only take so much cash out of per paycheck and I only spend the cash. This is my second summer in Berea. The first summer I worked, I, I worked and took classes for two months and I went back home for a month. I was still able to save a thousand. I've heard people say, you don't have, you don't make that much money and blah, 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 but it's all about budgeting, most definitely. That's what I've been doing the last four years. Some people say I, it looks like I spend most of my money because I like to put on clothes and do this and do that, but it's all about budgeting. It's all about knowing where to shop or how much this thing is compared to where you can find it somewhere, somewhere else cheaper or something similar, so I'm definitely a budgeter. At Berea College, no, but uh, I do have friends and family members who are definitely struggling uh, um, in their school years. Uh, they're taking out loans like back to back. Uh, I actually have a relative now. He's probably he's a sophomore in college, thirty thousand dollars in debt right now. Well, actually, I actually went to a community college, but I did know at least two who had to drop out due to finances. And then I knew someone who had acquired so much debt, they really were just terrified when they graduate. They were saying, you know, I'm not gonna make a penny or get to see any of my money because it's going toward federal loans and debt. is absurd. I mean, it's only undergrad, so I, I feel like well, at, coming out of undergrad, you should not have to have to pay that much money back, especially if you're going to go to grad school. And that's what one thing I appreciate about um, Berea financially <clears throat> is that we won't be co coming out of here with a lot of debt, and some students no debt. And if we want to go to grad school, that's the only debt we're going to have to worry about that I'll be able to get to where I'm trying to go faster than those people who have big debts um, and that it's a realistic amount of money to pay back versus money that just seems like it'll never go away, a debt that'll never go away. So. Actually, I've been thinking about this since I came to Berea, but now so that the pressure is here, because I am a senior and it's no, you know, it's do or die time. I'm just like, you know, these are things that I need to do in order to be successful. You know, I mean, I can want everything, but I need, you know, a suit. I need 
transportation. I need these things. So I want to be comfortable. I don't want to get out of here struggling. I want to transition smoothly. And if I'm having financial hardships, that will be nearly impossible. When I graduate, I don't want to move back in with my mom. So I want to find a job probably as soon as I graduate and move into my own apartment uh, when I go back home. So I'm definitely going to be saving up and well, saving a lot. <laughs>